appears and a little sharpness in the nose. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have the Powers Gold label, non-chill filtered here on my cask. It's an Irish blended whiskey and it has a, well, an uneven ABV with 43.2. Unfortunately, it's colored. Well, it might be quite young, but it's really good priced at slightly above 20 euros, dollars, pounds. Um, I had the gold label already in the past, four or five years ago. I remember only a little bit of it. So there had been a fruitiness, there had been a spiciness. Um, but this one is now the non-chill filtered version and with a higher ABV. I think the first one had only 40%. Uh, and there is a 12 years old John's Lane, Powers John's Lane, uh, which is impressive and lots of potential and power and, and age in it. So, and here at this bottle I, I got from friends, uh, which were quite successful in emptying it. Uh, and <laughs> I asked them uh, if I may have uh, the rest of it and they said yes. And uh, well, I brought another full bottle here with me uh, to show you how the, uh, well, the color develops uh, in the full bottle. Um, and here is a, a, a copper plate or sign on the neck saying Powers established 1791, handcrafted. Powers is famed for its triple distilled pot still style whiskies, distinguished by their full honey and spicy taste. Um, triple distillation, the Powers is produced in the New Middleton distillery. I think I have a visit, a video of my visit there online. And uh, there you have column stills, I think two of them in the old, you, <laughs> in the old uh, still house, which is newer than the old Middle Middleton distillery with its old still house where there were only pot stills in it. Now in the new still house from 1964 to 66, they built the new one. Um, there are two column stills for the unmalted uh, cereals and three huge big pot stills for the malted barley. And ah, I'm not quite sure. I think it's a mixture so that you have malted and unmalted barley as well in the triple distillation. Mm, not quite sure. Um, and then two years ago, or 2014, 2015, they just doubled the production capacity like this and built a new still house and now they're producing full throttle and Irish whiskey is on the rise. Power is a very old name and uh, I think they came in from from Dublin uh, and when there was the big British recession uh, in the 60s, uh, Ireland suffered as well and uh, the last remaining distillers moved all together into the new Middleton distillery in Cork and uh, all the distilleries in, in Dublin were closed and in Northern Ireland there was just one competitor left uh, and so the Powers uh, name moved into New Middleton again uh, as well. <clears throat> so here we go. Powers Gold Label Tasting Notes, Nose Cinnamon, Clove Oil and White Pepper in Balance with Russet Apples and Ripe Pears on a background of charred oak charred oak, period. Taste cinnamon, green peppers and a touch of nutmeg combined with arc red fruit, vanilla and toasted oak, all laid upon a crisp barley core. Finish, long pot still oils and spices slowly fade to rich barley and toasted wood. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Um, if you have so little left in your bottles at home, you should, well, uh, finish those bottles quite soon. 
because the the big amount of air on top of this last drops uh, tend to oxidize uh, the whiskey very fast. So whenever you you empty the bottle to the last 15-20%, you should try to to finish them quite quite fast. Or uh, you can fill them into smaller uh, bottles, miniatures. Uh, so that you do not have the the uh, atmosphere on top of it for the oxidization. But if you fill it into the other uh, bottle, be very very careful uh, that it flows quite quietly uh, without bulbs and bubbles uh, into the new uh, bottle. Otherwise, you you will bringing <laughs> the oxygen into the whiskey intensively. So this would be no good for the rest of it. Apples, pears, and a little sharpness in the nose. And there shall be some bonfire in the back. No, not at all. But there's some cinnamon in it. Hmm, I like that. Hmm. Really intense spiciness, white pepper, yeah, and nutmeg. This clove oil, mm. Mm. not really. Little oiliness, yes. Spicy, not not bitter at all because uh, there are no European oak casks uh, in the maturation process, as far as I know. Um, and so you just have the American oak with, well, more gentle spiciness. Some maltiness in the back. Yeah, for the price. Just above 20. It's a really, really good whiskey. Thank you for watching, stay tuned, there's more to come and feel free as always to share this video with a friend and if you like it, give me a thumbs up. <laughs>